Health alert tonight. You may not see it, smell it, or even know it's there, but a dangerous gas could be lurking in your own home, impacting your health. A new report from the American Lung Association revealing a significant number of Virginia homes have elevated levels of radon. And 8 News reporter Madison Moore joins us in studio live to break down why this is such a concern, Madison. Well, Eric Deanna, radon exposure is the second leading cause of lung cancer in the country, and that report shows 25% of Virginia homes equal or exceeds a four on the Environmental Protection Action level, meaning high radon levels were detected. Radon is a colorless, odorless, and tasteless gas that can enter your home through cracks in floors, basement walls, and foundations. Your home could have an elevated level of radon while your neighbor's home does not. January is National Radon Action Month, and Chief Mission Officer of the American Lung Association, Deb Brown, says radon is responsible for an estimated 21,000 lung cancer deaths every year and is the leading cause of people affected. As the radon decays, it releases those radioactive particles that you breathe in, and that's what causes the lung cancer. This map from the Virginia Department of Health shows Chesterfield, Colonial Heights, Powhatan, and Goochland counties are in a high potential radon zone, whereas Richmond, Henrico, and Hanover are in a low potential zone. The EPA recommends you test for radon when you first buy a home and repeat every two years by using a test kit which you can purchase in stores or online. There are simple devices that can be picked up at hardware stores or home supply stores. It's important to uh, recognize that it's, it's you're testing the lowest um, level that you live in in the in the home. So uh, the area where people would be most likely to be um, you know, interacting, um, living in the, that space. VDH says it's best to conduct your radon test during fair weather. That's because testing during high winds may cause temporary but significant increases in indoor radon levels. And if your home radon levels reach a four or above, the next step would to be find a certified radon professional to come out and mitigate. And you can find those resources on the VDH and EPA's website.